Arts Festival brings together artists from around the country who are juried into this arts show in 14 different disciplines so there's a wide variety of art to choose from and we also have four stages of performing arts We also have culinary art stages where chefs from our area do demonstrations of the art of culinary. It's a great way to an, enjoy a day, get a taste and a feel and a view of art of all kinds. There's um, a whole Artopoly area with children's activities. There's um, an early inspiration gallery where students from the ages of four, four to 14 can purchase a piece of art that's been contributed by students and teachers from local high schools. So for $5, they purchase their first piece of art and they start their first art collection. So that's pretty cool. My name is Elizabeth DeMonico. I work at the John Cooper School and I run an aerial program after school and we also uh, are at w, w, WCC, World Champions Center, and we started an aerial program there. So today we're demonstrating aerial silks, which is a great way to get in shape, get more flexible, it's not hard on your joints, and it's a beautiful artistic endeavor. My name is Erin Hansen and I'm the featured artist at the Woodlands Art Festival. Well, I'm a contemporary impressionist painter and I call my style open impressionism. As you can see, I use a lot of paint. These are all original oil paintings and I just like to slap the paint on and get all into the movement and the color and really capturing the beauty of the outdoors. This is a painting of uh, the hill country. Um, I've spent years gathering wildflower photos. Of course, everyone loves uh, the blue bonnets and the Indian paintbrushes. And here are some uh, some uh, some evening primrose, some Indian paintbrushes, some uh, brown-eyed Susans. So I just love painting the outdoors and capturing color and dramatic landscapes. This is one of the best shows in Texas. And if you're going to come to an art fair, I'd recommend coming to this one. So my name is Radim Schreiber, I'm from Czech Republic, uh, currently living in Iowa and I specialize in photographing fireflies. In uh, Czech Republic we have almost none, so when I came to the United States I immediately got fascinated and then when I became interested in uh, insect photography I thought fireflies would be like the coolest subject to photograph. I just, I think it's amazing that they can create their own light and they create a beautiful photography subject where the light and the dark, which is really essence of, of photography and video. My dad, when I was growing up, he was doing uh, his own photography. He had like a dark room in the, in, the, in the bathroom. And so I don't know, maybe that's where it all started. Always loved nature. And so nature photography became my passion. Yeah. Next for me, um, good question. Right now, I have just created a book which I uh, released this last winter and so I'm promoting it. Uh, that's one of my, my things right now. Um, the other, it, it also has a glow in the dark cover and so one of my projects right now is gonna be creating an artwork that's gonna glow in the dark. Yeah, I love this event, you know, Woodlands is great. My name is Fred Conlon. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. I do uh, recycled metal art. My business partner and myself have uh, been doing this for about 20 years. And uh, 
it's mostly found objects, recycled stuff, uh, tools, anything we can get our hands on, really. Uh, I, I'm a recovering potter. I used to do a bunch of pottery and got tired of all my pots breaking and found something that's a little bit more durable. Uh, this is my eighth year at the Woodlands. I love coming back every year, and it's fun to see repeat clients uh, come in and say, we came here just for you, so uh, that's a good feeling. Hi, my name is Demi Durrett. I'm the founder of Youth for Human Rights USA. So we focus on human rights education, um, specifically within the US context, making sure that people are aware of their 30 basic human rights and really getting the word out about it. But what we're doing here today is we're out here at the Woodlands Arts Festival and we're celebrating basically peace and tolerance. So what we've got over here um, is a collaborative community art project where kids can come up and add their own button to the Dove for peace um, and then they come back here and we've got each of the 30 human rights set up and basically they get a little ball and they get to pick whichever one they think is most important. So it gives them a really great opportunity to get involved, get engaged and kind of not only see all of the human rights but also get to pick their favorite and which they think is most meaningful which is really awesome because a lot of people in seeing, you know, oh, I can't pick between we're all born free and equal or no slavery, a lot of people can see, you know, it is really important that we respect the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and that we protect these human rights for everyone. Basically, um, I was a freshman in high school. I was not only looking for a project for my Gold, Girl Scout Gold Award, but also really trying to do something that would, you know, give back to the community. I've been in the woodlands my entire life and I really wanted something where I could kind of get back into the community that had given me so much. And um, I was astonished to find out that Houston actually has the highest, some of the highest rates of human trafficking in the entire U.S. as a support city. Um, and I really wanted to do something because I couldn't believe that that was happening so close to me. Um, I really wanted to raise some awareness about that issue. And in doing so, we came across this human rights education program. And um, it really spiraled into this great first event. We had it right here at Town Green, um, an amazing human rights day and festival celebrating International Human Rights Day. And so it's just taken off. We've had amazing community feedback and now we're in our eighth year. Uh, please come out to the event on December 8th. It's going to be a wonderful event. Um, it'll be right here at Town Green Park. We'll be celebrating International Human Rights Day. It's actually the 70th anniversary of the signing of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So it's going to be a great event. We've got lots of family fun, um, live entertainment, food, and it, it'll be a great day to learn about your human rights. The proceeds of, of the Woodlands Waterway Arts Festival and the Woodlands Arts Council that sponsors the festival go to our education outreach programs. The Woodlands Waterway Arts Festival is just uh, an embodiment of our belief that art touches touches people in a, in a way that um, crosses every divide and um, brings people together and that's what the Woodlands Waterway Arts Festival does.